For the last 30 years, this motorbike repair shop on the corner of Aoko and Nguyen Van Sang streets in Ward 14 Tanbin District has never had a shortage of customers. No motorbike taxi driver or truck driver in Tanbin or the neighboring districts has not heard of the Five Ladies Repair Shop. The five women, sisters, owners, and workers of the shop have been doing this man's work since 1967. An insensitive question about why they have chosen to follow this line of work, where they are more likely to be seen with motor oil on their faces than makeup, does not unsettle them. To them, what matters about a job is not that it is clean or dirty, but that the work is honest and useful. They learn the job from their father as early as the age of six. Too young to handle any serious or physically demanding work, they just hung around to help him with some odd jobs. When the father passed away in 1987 due to a stroke, the young women decided to keep his shop and carry on his career. After only a few years, drivers of all kinds of vehicles, from motorbikes to trucks, buses and passenger cars in the areas of Beijing, Cholon, Bahé, Le Mentuan, became regular customers at their small shop. And soon it gained a reputation among the motorbike taxi and truck drivers in the area for its reasonable price and good quality service. Now that the Oko Street has become off-limits to trucks, the shop has seen a decrease in the number of customers and income. And yet, many truck drivers, placing their trust in the skillful hands of the women, even go to the trouble of removing their wheels and bringing them to their shop. This shop has been in the repair business for years, and all drivers and riders come here for help when they have a flat tire. Their service quality is really good, and they are very responsible and dedicated to their work. Women are not, their skills are as good as any repairman, said Tang Ut, 63, a regular customer of the shop. Unlike other shops that use ready-made rubber patches to fix flat tires, the Five Ladies Shop uses the thermal pressure technique, which requires more time and effort but produces better and more durable results. The shop is at its busiest during the peak hour of traffic. Street vendors' carts, fancy motorbikes of the latest models, and cars all stop by their shop for a quick fix. Time has somewhat taken its toll on their physical strength, yet the women remain as skillful and committed to the job as ever. Many customers don't mind giving them a helpful hand when the shop gets overcrowded. I've been in this job for over 30 years. It was a way for me to earn a living and raise my children when they were small. Now that my children are all grown up, I still work in this job. I'll quit it when my health is no longer capable of handling the job. It's hard for me to find another kind of job at this age. The women all have their own families, but with their children already grown up, they have less housework to worry about and more time to devote to their jobs. These machines have kept the women company for over 40 years. What they lack in physical strength, they more than make up for in willpower, determination, and dedication. To them, happiness is not something fabulous. It's simply doing what they have to do, no matter what their gender or social status. They take the job to carry on their father's heritage, and they do it to earn a living and raise their children.